Question 16. Mention what is the difference between WebSphere and WebLogic? Answer. WebSphere is focused more on connectivity, integration, and web services. It has better performance, rich implementation of J2EE, more extensive integration and transaction management compared to WebLogic. WebLogic has default transaction attributes as supports, while WebSphere does not have such type of the default transaction attribute. Question 17. Explain what is a connecting pool? Answer. Connecting pool is a cache of database connections maintained so that connection can be reused when future requests to the database are required. If all the connections are occupied, a new connection is created and is added to the pool. Question 18. Mention what sync function does in WebSphere? Answer. WISP Web Server Application Server stores all the configuration in one central location referred as master repository. The sync ensures the configuration in both local and master repositories are same and in sync. Question 19. Mention how many ways you can deploy the application in WebSphere? Answer. In WebSphere application can be deployed in three ways. Copy files directly to deploy application folder in WebSphere. Use WebSphere specific and tasks create automated scripts for deploying application via administration console. Question 20. Mention which resource can enhance EARS support apart from shared libraries and data sources? Answer. Class loader policy, JAS authentication aliases and virtual host information can enhance EARS support apart from EARS support and shared libraries. Question 21. Mention what are the WebSphere MQ programming APIs? Answer. WebSphere MQ programming APIs include AMI, Application Messaging Interface, JMS, Java Message Service, MQI, Message Queue Interface. Question 22. Mention what functionality does Caching Proxy Server provides? Answer. Caching Server provides functionality like reverse proxy and content-based routing, integration with servlet caching and dynamic content caching. Question 23. Explain how caching proxy of WebSphere on the Edge server is done. Answer. A caching proxy can be configured in forward direction or as a proxy. When user requests the content, it is cached by the Edge before sending or following to the query. Page fragments arising from servlets or JSP are cached by Edge, and the caching process becomes slow. Performance and scalability can be optimized by Edge. Question 24. Explain what is WebSphere Edge Server? Answer. The WebSphere Edge Server is used to enhance the performance of web-based systems. It can be used as a proxy server. There are basically four components in the WebSphere. They are caching proxy, content distribution, network dispatcher and application server at the edge. Question 25. Explain what is extended deployment in WebSphere? Answer. The extended deployment in WebSphere leverages enhanced qualities of service with features optimizing IT resources. It spans three areas WebSphere Virtual Enterprise, WebSphere Extreme Scale, Compute Grid. Question 26. Explain what is SSL peer in IBM WebSphere MQ? Answer. SSL peer is a string usually distinguished name of MQ client, which links to QManager securely using QManager. This is a mechanism used to identify client. Question 27. Explain what is QManager in IBM WebSphere MQ? Answer. QManager is the important component of WebSphere MQ. It is accountable for storing and routing messages to other QManager within MQ, and it also communicate with the outside world. Question 28. Explain what is WebSphere is MQ? Answer. WebSphere MQ is an application program that allows you to communicate with each other using messages and queues. This form of communication is referred as commercial messaging. There are two methods for application to communicate, request, response and fire and forget. Question 29. Mention when does WebSphere application server contact the registry for user information? Answer. WebSphere application server contact the registry for user when users checks the user's password, maps certificate information to a user ID, converts user ID to registry unique ID obtains group information. 
Question 30. Explain what is a cell in WebSphere? Answer. A cell is referred as a grouping of nodes into a single administrative domain. A cell can have multiple nodes which are all managed from a single point.